oils ain't oils. So, got some Castrol GTX here, 15W40 engine oil. Now, you've got engine oil, the first distinction I want to tell you about, and you've got synthetic um, engine oil. Engine oil is made for rotted dinosaurs. It's oil they pull up from the ground, same as what they make your petrol from. Synthetics are made from other materials. Uh, both are good in most cars. Um, synthetics, you can go longer without an oil change and uh, they will hold their um, low temperature, etc., etc., better than just a standard oil. So what oil is right for you? Well, it's got a lot to do with the age of your car and the type of engine that's in your car. But firstly, now that you know the difference between, well, there's also blended synthetics. You'll see a picture of that coming up in just a sec. And there's also semi-synthetics, um, but basically, they are just a mixture of the engine oil and the full synthetics. And to call it blended synthetic or um, part synthetic, you don't have to have much synthetic synthetic in there. So if you wanted to go for a synthetic oil, it really is worth the uh, extra money to get a full synthetic um, because the blended or part synthetics are normally quite low percentages, apparently. Okay, so the figures on the bottle, what you're looking at there is 15W40. And a 15W40, the 15 is the winter figure. That's actually what the W stands for. Uh, and 40 is when the engine's at um, running temperature, what its viscosity or thinness or oil engine um, protection ability is. 15 is at what startup temperature, um, what it will be. And uh, so a 15W40 is your standard oil in a standard engine. High performance engines. Um, the ones I've got to know a lot about and had a lot of discussions with mechanics about are BMW engines and particularly engines with variable valve timing. A lot of small, intricate little bits in there. You need a thinner oil um, to run through those systems and to um, be able to keep that engine operating efficiently. So you've got um, 5W30 is probably the minimum that you want to run for most of those and 0W30. Uh, if you're running a BMW or something with a VVTi. Now, the thing to keep in mind is that we're not all living under the same temperature conditions. Um, I'm recording this in Australia, and, uh, you know, it's midwinter, but we'll still get an 18-degree day here, 18 degrees Celsius. Um, so that's like 64 or something. Um, so much warmer weather and not getting below freezing. Uh, so we don't need that zero rating temperature here. So to sum up, modern engines have a lot of extra technology in them, like VVTi, variable valve timing. Those technologies need thinner oils um, to get up there and to get around and get through all of the parts. Modern engines are made with much smaller tolerances, so oil leaks are not what they used to do. And modern engines are also designed to uh, use a little bit of oil. It's not unusual for even brand new cars um, to be consuming a little bit of oil, and that's not something to um, panic about. So uh, there you go, the 15W40s, um, they're the older um, type cars. Uh, a lot of us growing up would have had those in our cars to start with, but as the engines have developed in technology and their better ability to hold and keep the engine oil in the engine, then we've developed thinner oils um, and even synthetic oils to uh, do a better job. The synthetics, of course, last longer. So I've done another video um, specifically about BMW engines and VVTi and using the thinner oil. I'll put a link just up above here right now. Uh, check that one out as well.